The non-league system in England is one that many people understand and many regard as being the best in the world. Since the inception of this channel in August of 2020, we have seen many games, most of which being in non-league. From Northumberland right down to Cornwall, we've seen many a thing. But, one question I've always had, what's non-league like in other countries? Yes, good afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is currently Friday the 8th of September 2023 and tonight we're off back to Stansted Airport because tomorrow morning for the second time in 2023 we're going back to Germany and uh, this time we are flying into uh, Bremen then getting the train to Hanover then onwards to Saarstedt where tomorrow afternoon we'll be watching FC Saarstedt face SPV GG Nieder Saxon Doran in the Landesliga Hanover. This is of course being the first of two games that I've got tomorrow. Um, the other of course being uh, Germany versus Japan at the Volkswagen Arena which is of course the home of Wolfsburg. Uh, the video for which you will be seeing um, tomorrow in, in your case when you're watching this which of course will be the Sunday morning so uh, yeah um, as is the case with double-headed videos this season, um, unless it's an, an event where there's two games on at the same venue on the same day, we are doing two separate videos. One, of course, uploaded on the Saturday night, been, that being the first game of the day, then the second one being uploaded the following morning. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Let's head them down to, to Stansted. This could be a massive weekend, massive weekend ahead. Let's go and experience some German non-league. <laughs> So I've made it to the uh, premiere in at Stansted. I uh, don't want to jinx anything for the rest of the weekend, but uh, that was actually a pretty smooth journey for once. Um, but of course, tomorrow I am going to uh, probably the only country in Europe that actually have a worse train system train system than us. Uh, no, um, the stereotype over there is that they're very efficient and on time. But <laughs> if I think if you if, even if you ask ask the German people about the trains, they'd pretty much tell you what I'm telling now and uh, speaking of which if there is any uh, Germans watching this hello uh, welcome to my channel anyway uh, it's probably best that I get some sleep now because I have got an obscenely early alarm so yep I'm gonna get my head down and we'll go again um, in a few hours basically Right, it is 20 past 3 in the morning, um, there's a shuttle bus to the airport, leaving pretty shortly, um, my flight is at uh, 5 to 6, uh, I mean you might be thinking I'm getting up far too early considering it is, uh, Stan said I am at the local Premier Inn, but uh, I'm one of those that uh, just likes to be sure, um, but yeah, 20 past 3. Then obviously um, going into Bremen and uh, the game is actually uh, just outside of Hanover. So uh, all this just for the sixth tier of German football. Why do I do this to myself? Anyway, let's go. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, I, I know it's 25 past four in the morning, but... Uh, I am one of those people and uh, look, I work five days a week, um, I don't 
like uh, going abroad isn't that regular an occurrence for me so uh, let me enjoy it For the second time this year, Willkommen in Deutschland. Um, I've got to say that is probably the quietest airport I think I've ever been through. Like obviously, in this uh, Brexit day and age, it can take a little bit of time to get through uh, customs and stuff like that. But I've uh, got off the plane through customs and uh, now heading into uh, the city centre within a matter of minutes, if that really. So uh, yeah. Uh, Got to say I'm uh, quite happy with that, but now um, I've got a bit of time to kill, so we're uh, going to get a few steps in, heading from the uh, the airport into the city centre, then uh, hopefully, all being well, uh, my train to Hanover, then onwards to Sarstedt, uh, won't have any major problems, and uh, we'll make it there in uh, good time for this afternoon's football. So here I'm finally in Sarstedt and I've got to say that that train journey was actually quite smooth. Uh, you got to remember uh, when I was here, well in Germany in May, we went to uh, that SC Verl game in Paderborn on that Monday. They uh, just had every problem going with the trains, but uh, that journey to here was not too bad at all. So uh, quite happy with that. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to celebrate it yet because um, obviously after this I've got to get over to Wolfsburg, then... Uh, Tomorrow, of course, get to Leipzig to get the air to get to the airport to go back home. But uh, yeah, uh, other than that, uh, it's been a good journey. Um, and anyway, let's have a little bit of, ch of a chat about the football. Uh, I imagine for the majority of you watching this, this is going to be a little bit of an unknown entity, and it is for me to a degree as well. But uh, going into it, uh, FC Sarstedt are currently in. 13th place in the uh, Landesliga Hanover and uh, they're having a really rotten run of form of late and um, they've, uh, won, they've won two games so far this season I believe uh, looking at it, they might have won both of their first two games but then uh, they've lost all five since um, so they're really on a bad spell of form at the minute but uh, maybe a chance for them to uh, get back to winning ways in this game today because uh, Doran are currently in 17th place which is a uh, second bottom of this particular league and uh, just a one point so far so uh, they might be looking at Sarstedt's form and uh, might see it as a chance for them to get off to winning ways this season but uh, I've got to say I'm really looking forward to this this afternoon uh, as I say um, it is um, is a little bit of an unknown entity. It's the sixth tier of German football. Um, and yeah, there's so many leagues at this level uh, spread all across the country. You've got to remember in England, the sixth tier is the National League North and the National League South, which uh, just shows uh, the actual difference between our non-league system and uh, pretty much everyone else's. Like, um, obviously, ours don't start really becoming like massively regionalized until like the ninth tier so uh god knows what the ninth tier of german football looks like but uh anyway here's a sixth tier today and let's head on down to sport park sarstedt 
and find out how this game unfolds. Here we are then, a new one off the list. And I tell you what, I can definitely get behind a club that has a beer garden in the ground. Let's go in. It's just some youth game going on here at the minute, but uh, the star step players are here, so uh, the game is definitely is happening. So need Saxon Doran are getting ready here um, while the a junior games going on on the main pitch. It uh, looks like they're going to be in a grey strip this afternoon. Uh, incidentally, uh, Nieder Saxon means Lower Saxony in German, of course. Uh, Lower Saxony being the uh, German state that we're in right now. Um, still um, waiting for uh, Sarstedt to come on and do their warm up, so I imagine uh, they're going to be in blue. So here comes Sarstedt out to warm up, uh, confirming what I suspected, that they're going to be in all blue. Anyway, I'll see you when the players are coming out in the tunnel, ready to start the match. i tell you what, one thing German football always has had over English football is, um, it is of course like being allowed alcohol within view of the pitch. Um, I mean, of course in the English non-league, uh, I think below the National League, uh, some clubs obviously allow alcohol in view of the pitch but I uh, don't think many of them actually allow a, a glass and uh, look at that uh, absolutely outstanding stuff I'm really liking this so far and here come the teams and uh, it looks as though uh, Doran are going to be in a green in green shirts and grey shorts so it's maybe a little bit difficult to tell when they're doing the warm-ups um, but yeah uh, let's get cracking with the first European game that I attend this season. I wonder where. So I must say, like this is an absolutely outstanding little club. Um, I'm honestly past past caring if this game ends up being pretty terrible. Um, but just everyone's just so friendly. Uh, the food's absolutely fantastic. And the beer's absolutely fantastic. So uh, I'm, go I'm going to say it now. I, I really hope that Sarstedt get a win in this game. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's in. Was not expecting that to happen, but one all to Doran. Obviously, have not won all season, uh, but a one all up in this game. Goal! Weren't behind for that long. And once again, a European trip is delivering the goods. Oh, save. Oh! Oh! Oh. oh, no, it's in. Well, that's one of the scrappiest goals I've ever seen. Half time FC Sarstedt 2, Nia Saxon Doran 1. Uh, you can maybe see why both teams are struggling a little bit just now. Where there's very little in the way of quality from either side. But uh, lo and behold, uh, we're going into half time with uh, three goals in the game. So uh, considering I've uh, travelled all this, all this way, uh, I'm certainly going to take it. Uh, obviously, uh, Doran were the ones that took the lead. A bit of a speculative, a speculative effort from long range which uh, found its way into the back of the net I think it maybe deceived the keeper a little bit but uh, Sarstedt soon responded to that and uh, got themselves level and uh, from there it was a bit of a cagey kind of game and not really I don't think there's really any chances if we're honest for either side up until half time where uh, 
Sarstedt so have got the break, uh, the, uh, the player's got the touch now, but it's um, sort of rolled onto the post. But he's uh, got a second touch now and they've managed to put it into the back of net. And uh, that is why they find themselves ahead at half time and uh, on course to uh, stop this uh, current losing run that, 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 that they're on. But uh, there's, yeah, there's still quite a long way to go in this game yet. Yeah, I'm sure uh, Doran are going to have. A, a, a thing or two to say about this scoreline but I think uh, the next goal really is vital if uh, Doran get it then it really does uh, like put it on a bit of a knife edge again but if uh, Sarsdek can go 3 one up then I think that might just about be enough for them uh, based on what I've seen so far There's a chance a block good block that Oh. Penalty to Sarstedt. He scored this, I don't think he'll be anywhere back for Doran to be honest. I reckon that could just about be enough for them. But again, I've been wrong with these things before. Oh, save! Outstanding bit of play there. Oh, saved again. Oh, saved. Pulled off some saves, second half, honey. Oh, it's broken into him. Well, a bit late drama. The manager's been sent off, but there's no stands, so literally all he can do is just go behind the barrier. <laughs> like, that's going to make a massive difference. Well, that was a clever finish. <laughs> well, that's the end of the game. Full time FC Sar step four need a Saxon Doran one. Uh, I've got nothing but good things to say about uh, Sar step after that. I thought they were really and truly a lovely little club. Um, like there's some absolutely uh, you know, tremendous beer on offer. The food was was absolutely cracking, and uh, yeah, and as it happens, uh, the game was absolutely cracking as well. So uh, cannot go wrong with that. Uh, of course, this this afternoon was a little bit of a step into the unknown for me. Personally, I've never uh, dropped this low in in in, in uh, any, any other country. I don't think, uh, other than England and uh, uh, Scotland as well, uh, to watch 
football but honestly i'm so glad i did because uh I've, as i say like i really really enjoyed that this afternoon and uh, i've discovered a wonderful l- little club on the back of it a nice little town as well um and you know what uh in the second half they really uh turned it on and uh fought the thoroughly deserved their win it's the first win in uh, six games i believe so uh good time to stop the rot really and uh, yeah as i said uh, really well deserved on the day and uh, but for a couple of decent saves from the door and keeping in the second half it uh, possibly could have been even more but uh, i think speaking of door and if we're totally honest uh, that is a team that are in trouble this season uh, they really didn't create all that much throughout the course of the game uh, they took the lead but uh, that was a bit of a flash in the pan kind of goal but uh, other than that uh, they really um, were uh, somewhat uninspiring I must say I mean I'm not uh, I'm not slagging them off in any way just um, just being honest about uh, about the, the chances of survival and all that and uh, right now I do not think they're uh, particularly great but uh, as for Sarstedt uh, as I said, um, it was just important that they got the win today, but uh, they maybe did that in a little bit of style, it has to be said. But that is that for this video, and I'll be back in the morning with my experience of the game I'm on, on my way to right now, which is Germany versus Japan in an international friendly at the Volkswagen Arena, which is of course the home of VFL Wolfsburg, so... Uh, really excited for it um i can't wait to bring you the video as well but until the morning take care cheers for watching see you later